Happy Easter! Part two from us here at Brewmatures. Today we've got Evil Twins brewing even more Jesus. Yeah. It's Easter Sunday, and you know what that means. Beer! Jesus is back from the dead! He's a zombie! <laughs> and there's even more of them, apparently. Yeah, even more Jesus. I wonder if there's a beer that's just called... More Jesus? Or just Jesus. Is there three layers? There's Jesus, base stout. More, more Jesus, Jesus. Double like stout. Even, even more, more Jesus. Jesus! Is this a triple stout? It's just a stout. Uh, I'm gonna... It says Imperial Stout yeah. here on the front. 12% mm -hmm. alcohol by volume, so just as much in a Flor Loco nowadays. A few times in the history of craft beer, it has happened that a highly praised beer rises beyond mortal stardom into a higher godly league. Usually the recipe to make such heavenly drops is thick, fudge-like body, pitch black color, amazingly overwhelming aromas of chocolate, coffee, dark fruits, and muscovado sugar. Obviously only made in limited amounts, and most crucial of all, it must taste rare. Brewed by Evil Twin Brewing in Stanford, Connecticut. Distributed by 12% LLC, Brooklyn, New York. Brewed by Evil Twin Brewing, Stratford, Connecticut. Distributed by 12% LLC, Brooklyn, New York. This sounds interesting. This is batch 40. Does not have a canning date, but I assume it's fairly new. Uh, and it seems like it's an Easter release. But who's to say? Because Jesus is the thing all year round, right? He's the thing all year round? He's a thing all year round. Yeah. People believe in Jesus, right? Year round, yeah. Yeah. Some do year round. Yeah. Some it's just at New Year's. But I do think, like, that's a cool idea that you just came up with, with Jesus, more Jesus, even more Jesus. And I don't know if that's a thing or not. Let us know down in the comments below if it, that's a thing. It's probably not a thing, but I like the idea a lot. I believe this will be our first stout from Evil Twin Brewing. I have had some sours from them before, as you've seen on the channel. Uh, when we reviewed beer with Marvin, we had a What Even Is Blue Raspberry and What Even Is uh, Black Cherry. And I also reviewed another one that was, it was his birthday and they didn't even care. Uh, which was a cake flavored sour. And don't forget the seltzer that you hated. Yes, I don't know if that review will be up yet, but there is a seltzer called Hawaiian Punch that we reviewed that was by Evil Water Brewer, which apparently is Evil Twin Brewing, but their seltzer line, that I, I had some strong opinions on. So stay tuned for that if it is not yet out. You took that personally. Well, they'll <laughs> see. <laughs> Um, but any more thoughts on this uh, can before we get into it? I like um, the, I guess you call this like a, I don't know, like a starburst maybe? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, like, it, like, like a, Jesus. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's risen from the dead. Uh, yeah, we saw this in the, the, the bottle shop that we were just in and I said, hey, let's do a Jesus thing for Easter, right? Yeah, we couldn't find a lot of Easter beers and this seemed like an Easter theme, um, so why not? Yeah, or maybe it's just Jesus and we're off the mark here. Nah, <laughs> there's no accent mark. <laughs> That's enough talking, let's get to drinking. Now without further ado, let us get to drinking this stout. I like this. <laughs> <sighs> You're laughing, you know it. Oh, not, not too thick, not a thick boy, Jesus. No, and it's not barrel aged, it is just an imperial stout, so I expect it to be a little more watery, but at 12% should have a little bit of a kick. I love the barrel aged boys, though. The motor oil of Christ. Okay, I don't, I think that's like heathen talk right there. I don't know. Well, if, if Christ gets around, he's gotta use a car now, right? Okay. He can fly, right? Can he? Is he Superman? I don't know. He has superpowers, right? This does smell like, like motor, motor oil. oil. This, I've, I've smelled stouts like this before. This kind of smells oaky or woody a little bit. It's 
smells like something that I don't want. I don't <laughs> think it's not a pleasant smell for mm -hmm. sure. It smells it, like someone's blood that turned black or blue. It kind of really. smells a little plasticky to me. Yeah, I know what you mean. To me, I get a little bit of like woodiness or oakiness, but there is something on the end of the scent that's like, yeah, maybe it is plasticky or like fake yeah, smelling. Fake, yeah. Um, it doesn't smell like chocolate. It doesn't smell like coffee that I'm used to getting from the malt in a stout. Um, so I'm a little apprehensive about this. To be honest, I don't like the way this smells. But without further ado, we must. For Jesus. For Jesus. For Jesus. It, oh my god. <laughs> Woo! It tastes like it smells and I don't. I'm not. The gag reflex says it all, folks. I'm so sorry. <laughs> like I didn't mean to gag that's, like that. That's okay. It, it's not like. It, I mean, it is a just. It's just a base imperial stout. But there's not a lot of great flavor there. I mean, it almost tastes like a no. like a, a Coke that went bad but isn't sugary. It tastes like I licked my softball glove. Or like like burnt coffee. Maybe even. It tastes like gross leather. Like I licked a leather couch. In the yeah, sink. and I know there's there's times when a leather aroma or leather taste can kind of be good in like a whiskey, um, but this ain't doing it here. This is no. It might wake somebody up from the dead. Oh Jesus! You tried. Well, it's brewed by Evil Twin Brewing, but I expected a lot more out of them to be honest. This is. I've talked about this before. Might not be worth my sobriety points, ladies and gentlemen. This is 12% alcohol. It doesn't taste like 12%, but it doesn't taste good either, to be honest. Yeah, it doesn't. It definitely doesn't taste very alcoholy, but it doesn't taste good. Yeah, I. I don't even know. I. We're gonna sip on this a little while longer, and then come back with our rating and final thoughts. And we're back. Uh, Mary, you've decided this tastes like... Hot leather. Yeah. Um, I think the reason it's called even more Jesus is because after drinking it, you need more Jesus in yeah. your life. Exactly. Uh, I gotta go to church now. Yeah, this this feels like a beer sin right here. I don't know. This... I like Evil Twin. This is a miss. Yeah, it's a big miss. This is a big swing and a miss. Strike three. Yeah. I licked the softball baseball glove and no, I'm not I'm not I'm not into it. I I don't like Imperial Stouts, but I can be objective about it, but I don't I can't. I don't. I'm just not getting any of the qualities I normally get in a in a stout. You know, there's no chocolate notes. It's no more coffee. like a burnt coffee. It's not even burnt coffee, because I've had burnt coffee before, and this just tastes like, it's not even, I don't get any coffee. Right. Like, this is like, it went straight to leather for me. Yeah, it's not, it's not great. But that being said, I'm having a hard time deciding where I want to put this on my rating. One. One? Because it's a beer. And I believe them when they said 12%. If you just want to get fucked up, okay. Go ahead. Yeah, but there's better ways to do it than yeah. this. You might as well do a couple shots instead of drinking two or three of these. Yeah. Oh no, I feel Probably bad. Probably cost about the same too, to be honest. I with feel you. bad. Or last. I feel bad. A one might be the lowest rating anybody's any guest has ever given on this this program. Well, what would you give it? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for me, this is a. Mm. One. This it's is a rough. One. It's a one. I debating between a one point two five and like a point seven five. Oh. <laughs> wow. That's it, you kind know, of a wide range, a little bit. Oh, you got to chew. Let me chew it too. Maybe it'll be better. Maybe I'll get some more Jesus in the. It's not. You don't want that. <laughs> 
I'm gonna give this a, a one after all. It's a drain pour for me, guys. I don't want to drink this anymore, and I wouldn't recommend it. Evil Twin, I expected a lot more out of you, but this is a big, big miss. I don't ever... They put work into it, and they put love into it, and they probably had fun making it, but I'm so sorry. Evil Twin, this is a mess. So bad. <laughs> Don't feel bad. I mean, we're just rating the beer here. If you like it, you like it, you know? I mean, if you've had this beer and maybe we got a bad can or something, then let us know. Um, but this just is really not doing it for us. There's a lot of weird notes in there that we do not like. I don't that's, hate it. That's a lot. I don't hate it. I just, look, I appreciate that they tried. That's the end of it. Sentiment. You gagged on your first sip of that. All right, calm down. Here we are with another full glass. Well, I think that just about does it for today's beer review. I hope you enjoyed it more than we did. Like, share, subscribe, check us out on Instagram and Untapped. And until next time, we're the Brumatures, trying every beer from around the world. One, One sip, sip at, at a time. time. Not right now. Happy Easter. Happy Easter, everybody. Bye. Okay, I'll drink some. What are you doing? I just gagged on camera like that. Like, that's not cute or cool. I hate it so much. <laughs> hate it so much, pours more.